that's not true. I wanted to switch gears and ask you about the founder of WikiLeaks, Julian Assange, Michael Hastings. Mm -hmm. Rolling Stone is out with your piece today based on your interview with Assange. You were with him when the pretrial military hearing for accused Army whistleblower Private Bradley Manning was taking place in Fort Meade, Maryland. Uh, at that time, we spoke to Guardian reporter Ed Pilkington when the pretrial opened, and he described the scene inside, noting Assange's lawyers were there. On the left side was uh, Julian Assange's lawyer, who is attending the trial, but rather humiliatingly for them, and they're very cross about it, they're, they're being relegated to, to the, the public benches uh, and being withheld full access to the trial, which they argue is completely wrong, because Julian, Julian Assange and WikiLeaks, as we know, are, all, are all also being investigated by the Department of Justice in a criminal investigation uh, in which Bradley Manning is likely to be a, a main witness. So they say their, their case is inter intimately tied into the Bradley Manning hearing and they should therefore be given full access. That was Ed Pilkington of The Guardian while uh, Bradley Manning was inside that Fort Meade pre-trial that is now leading to a court-martial. You were sitting with Julian Assange in London, in Britain. Can you right. talk about how he was monitoring this? Yes, I mean the, the time I spent with, uh, with with Julian, you know, it, the Bradley Manning trial was his 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 primary focus, uh, and, and and it's very important what what's actually happening in Manning trials vis-a-vis -vis, uh, Julian Assange, and the the key is that the Department of Justice is investigating WikiLeaks and trying to flip Bradley Manning as a witness. Uh, to basically say that uh, Manning and Assange committed this sort of conspiracy for espionage, which which is completely uh, nuts, to be honest. Uh, you know, when you're when you're talking about uh, you know an organization that, that is basically doing sort of in, in, a, in a different and, and revolutionary way in many sense, but essentially doing kind of uh, journalism or what should definitely be uh, protected uh, uh, for, for free speech. The concern of Julian Assange right now. Uh, mm -hmm. the possibility that he would be extradited to the United States. With the NDAA just passed, that President Obama said he would veto, and then he passed, that said anyone can be picked up anywhere, anytime in this country, outside, and held without charge indefinitely. Yeah. Is Julian Assange fearful of this? Uh, I believe, he, uh, yes, he, well, I, I know he, he is. I mean, I, this, is, this is the nightmare scenario. Now, people in Sweden and in England will say, oh, no, that's never going to happen. I wouldn't be I, if I was in if I was in Mr. Assange's shoes, uh, I would not take those. I, I would be a little skeptical of those words as well because we've seen uh, some of the gross abuses that that can happen. Uh, so yes, J Julian Assange's fear is that uh, he will be extradited to Sweden, and they're going to make that decision on February first, uh, and then there will be some. Uh, kind of media campaign uh, where the where the U.S. government or the Swedish government starts leaking things about oh you know Assange you know helped the Iranians or Assange you know helped the Taliban with this information and sort of lay the groundwork um, and then they'll they'll say well he you know we need to try him as a as a spy and, and and though that case might be very very difficult to prove it's the threat of it that's that in my mind is so damning. Michael Hastings, I want to thank you for being with us, contributing editor at Rolling Stone. His new book is called The Operators, The Wild and Terrifying Inside Story of America's War in Afghanistan. We have